Coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight division collision. All right, here he is for my money, Michael, the most well-rounded fighter in this division, a true mixed martial artist at his core, and he believes he'll have a lot of advantages in this matchup. Tonight. Everyone talked about him being well-rounded. It's unbelievable to watch a guy that can do everything across the board at such a high level. Yeah, he's comfortable wherever the fight goes. Maybe he'll grapple tonight, maybe he'll strike. Makes him a hard guy to prepare for. Well, when you're fighting this guy, DC, you know as well as anyone, it makes for a suffocating night at the office. Here he is, Khabib Nurmagomedov, putting his status as one of the best fighters on the planet on the line yet again tonight. He does it every time he steps foot in the octagon. And when they say it's suffocating, they talk about the strength of Khabib. Even our teammates say, it does not feel like you're going with a lightweight. You right. feel like you're fighting a light heavyweight. And what do you expect from a guy that spent his childhood wrestling with Bear? <laughs> he is so strong, he's so physical, in the hard work and the intensity of which he trains with only shows when he steps foot in the octagon. One of the most skilled guys the UFC has ever seen. We always talk about the wrestling and the grappling and the sambo, right. but don't sleep on Habib Nurmagomedov striking. And we saw shades of that in the McGregor fight. Javier Mendez says at times he likes to go southpaw in training. He can't hold you down. Ah, he can't hold me uh, down, but it's okay. Sure. It's okay. You can't win them all, Habib. <laughs> Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight fight. So three years the gap in age between these two fighters with some differences in height, but big differences in reach. And with the official introductions, here is the veteran voice of the Octagon, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, a referee in charge of the Octagon, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of. 16 wins, no losses. He stands six feet one inch tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Shavkat Nomad Rothmanov. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the right corner. This man is a grappler, holding a professional record of 29 wins, no losses. He stands five feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of the Republic of Dagestan, Russia, Habib, the Eagle, Nurmagomedov! Okay, guys, protect yourself at all time. We'll be my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now. Go back to your So here we go, round one is underway. Very compelling matchup for fight fans around the world. It's gonna be very interesting to see how soon the grappler goes for the takedown. Well, he's gonna try to get the takedown right away. But when he shoots that shot, when he changes that level, he is going to be shooting into a guy that truly understands all aspects of mixed martial arts. I'm wondering how, if his first shot doesn't work, does he approach trying to get this fight to the ground? Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Ooh, head 
kick lands, he's hurt. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. And look at him with his hips into that kick. Fighters engaging in the clinch here early. Oh, nice job with them to take down and scramble to his feet. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. That was a thudding leg kick. Single collar tie now. Big powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Over and over, he landed these big body kicks. Well, you start to really worry about the wrestling, and there's that left hand from Cubby. Underrated. I mean, it's a very underrated part of his game, his ability to stand and strike with anybody in the UFC. Really making good use of his reach advantage there with that punch. Leading with that right punch. Oh, man, it ain't Dikembe Mutombo, but he is blocking all these shots coming man, this way. get that out of here. He sees it coming. You're going to have to mix it up. Shake that finger. Shake that finger. Just over three minutes to go now. Ooh, and he caught the kick. And he connects there with a the punch, so pretty good striking display by a muscle. He throws everything so straight and so accurate. This striker has come out swinging, and he's a very aggressive guy, but you gotta be careful, I would think, to not overextend yourself. Yeah, you would think you gotta slow down, but not this guy. This guy knows that he can secure finishes on the feet, or if he gets taken down to his back. But ideally for him, he wants to be knocking guys out. Nice punch there. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Big elbow there, Lance. A oh, little single collar tie there. Oh, there he goes, attacking that lead leg to the outside. Nasty kick there. Nasty leg kick. You gotta slow down your opponent. He knew his opponent wanted to move a lot tonight. This is the first step in getting him to slow down and fight at your pace. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. Beautiful body kick. Oh, huge block! Oh, and he lands a punch there. Good connection by him on that. Great connect. So fast, so accurate. Watch the ability to land anywhere. All right, single collar tie now. He's very tricky when he throws that body kick. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Oh! Head kick! Right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night at that landing. He gets to a spot, the tie point. Then he starts to let the knees fall. Oh, nice punch there by Nermago Meta. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Just out of range with that left hook. Oh, he lands another strike to the body. Really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Big head kick land. Oh, beautiful jab by him there. Really taking advantage of what is an obvious edge and reach. That's a good strike there by Nermago Medoff. Tags him with a flush left. All right, let's take a look back at some of the replays from that last one. Unbelievable to see these high-level competitors get in each other's face, tuck their chin, bite down on the mouth guard, and just let it all hang out over the course of five minutes. All right, here we go with our next round, DC. Pretty good game plan in the previous round. Attack the body to great effect, and we'll look to continue to do so. He has done 
a great job of making the investment. The investment to the body that may not pay dividends early, but as the fight goes long, you will see it start to pay itself off. All right, he engages in a single power tie here. Timely defense there, huge block for him. Yes, they heard him in the last round. Same exact one. Hands higher, hands higher. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Hard shots landing on both sides here. Oh, single collar tie here. Chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those legs. Nice punch by Namako Medov. Back to the jab now, no good. Let me see that hook now. Oh, he landed that kick to the outside of the lead leg there, DC. He is chopping up that leg. They say chop down the tree. You beat your opponent by slowing him down first with those nice outside leg kicks. Nice body kick right under the elbow. Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations. It's because he's not committing to it fully. He throws his jab. He may throw the right hand out there, but he's not really sitting down on the right hand. He really doesn't seem to have the intent on landing it. He's got to be confident that it's going to land. Hey, finally gets the takedown. It wasn't for any lack of effort, but finally that shot was good enough to get his opponent down. I don't know how many times, John, I could have watched this guy shoot takedown attempts without securing one. It's almost like out of pity. You feel good for him to finally get it done. Now what does he do with this top of the throw? So he counters with an effective punch there, and at least in that situation, it paid to have the advantage in reach. Well, no problem getting inside to land that straight punch. He's got a huge edge in reach, and he made good use of it there. And they separate. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Beautiful hit, hit. Offensive fight. Nice job to block the shot there. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Straight right, he misses. Look at him drive his shin. What a fantastic rush. Great takedown. Down into his mouth. All right, so he postures up here and now figures to rain down some ground strikes. Yeah, the ground and pound will be a plenty from this position. Oh, nice job working hard, posting, and getting back up. Man, as he landed a high volume of strikes here in round two, definitely picking up the pace after round one. So he got the message from the corner, and now he is taking control of this second round. Well, that nose isn't going to be able to take too many more as he doubles up on the jab there. Oh, oh straight right. Shot is blocked. Nice knee to the midsection there. Nice jab, falls it up with a nice right hand. Whoa! He's in trouble. He's hurt fast. Every time these guys come together, man, you just hear the, the punches and everything landing. Both, both very powerful, very, very explosive. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Twenty seconds to go, round two. Come on, buddy, keep your hands up. Nice punch by Nermako Medov. Final seconds here of round two. Yeah, left hook found its target. Ten minutes in the books.
two punches. All right, so there's the end of the round. Few things in MMA more devastating than a head kick and nearly produced a knockout for him there. We talked to him earlier in the week, and he talked about chances to take the kicks high. He got a chance. He took it. He landed that kick and almost got the fight finished. Let's see if he can go and do that again. All right, next round is now underway. DC, any major takeaways after the previous five minutes? That both of these guys are very evenly matched. The matchmakers did a fantastic job when they put these two in the octagon. So even though it wasn't crazy, you got to see high level. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. Beautiful body kick lands right under the elbow. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Blocks the shot. Beautiful punch. There's no give on that leg. Oh, tagged him with the uppercut, DC. We'll see if he can follow it up. He was so used to punches coming straight, he didn't see the hook. I'm sorry, he didn't see the uppercut coming from underneath. And he landed the right hand there. Oh, another strike to the body. Not a lot of real estate there, but he found it. Nice kick there by Navago Meta. Pretty significant welt to the left side. I mean, he's cutting them down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Ooh, blocks the shot. Again, they will clinch. Wow! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Just over three minutes to go. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Oh! Ermagomedov's hook shot is blocked. Saw that coming from a mile away. Oh, collar tie. Well, he keeps going back to the well with that left hand, just out of range. Ooh, what a punch. Got a single collar tie. Well, it's all pace and pressure down the stretch. He is really lighting him up now. Knee coming to the body is blocked. Well, the right hand has been there at times, not that time. All right, so he lands a jab there. Pretty nicely done, DC. You can really control a fight just knowing how to fight behind your jab. Right hand punches the clinch. That one appeared to stun him. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. So, fighter a little bit stunned, holding on to him now, not doing a ton, just looking to recover. To the left hand now, unable to connect. You wonder if the offensive fighter is going to start to get frustrated here. Most stiff on all these shots are getting blocked. They're getting blocked because he's fighting one of the best defensive fighters in the UFC. Stuff the takedown, no problem. Oh. Oh man, that's a nice kick right there. He's doing a great job of landing that kick over and over. And he caught the kick. And they separate. Oh, strong punch there by Nermago Medoff. Look at those weapons. Look at how he uses his knees to the body. Oh, nice land there by Nermago Medoff. When he made his UFC debut in 2012, he wasn't striking like that. No, he did not look like this. And that's a credit to his coaches, not only at the American Kickboxing Academy, but at Eagles MMA over in Dagestan. 
Oh, he scored with that uppercut. That strike blocked by Nurmagomedov. Clean with the right hook. Twenty seconds left. Final seconds. Right hand punches the clinch. So his legendary chin holds up despite getting knocked down in that previous round. DC, take us through the highlight. He's as tough as they come. There has not been a guy that can take shots like this. Most times the night would be over. And gladly, gladly over after you take a shot like this. But this man's just too tough. Some people say he's too tough for his own good. He would not agree with you. He wants to fight. You ready? You ready? Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on. Whoa! Who's hurt? Turn him up. Go get him. Holding on to him here, not really doing too much, perhaps just looking to recover. Single collar tie now. Back and forth we go. Look at how fast. Oh, and the ankle pick to get him down. We'll see if he can capitalize. Got the ankle pick. Let's see how he advances from this position. Oh, nice work from the bottom. Tags him with the punch. Crazy accuracy and efficiency with these ground and pound strikes here. And if you're the opponent, you got to intelligently defend or the referee's going to stop the got to defend. But you can see him now starting to gain posture and the intensity at which he's throwing these ground strikes is starting to improve. It's starting to elevate because he knows that he can get the finish. Good stick. Just over three minutes to go. Visibly limping here. Just misses with a left hook there. Oh! Huge right hand! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Checking some of these. Nice. Liver kick. Oh, significant strike attempt there, but a huge block. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Oh, big roundhouse attempt just misses. That could have been lights out. The left punch is true. Now the right hand. Oh! Gets right back up. Oh, and he caught the kick. Ninety seconds to go. Great upper body movement defensively. Slips another strike there, and offensively he hasn't been a world beater, but defensively he's been strong tonight. And that has caused frustration 
for the opponent. Not being able to hit a guy that you want to really put away. Oh! And just like that, the fight is over. My goodness, what a fight. Just the way he drew it up as he gets the knockout victory here tonight, it's hard to land a strike more flush than he did right there, and I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming. So he'll see the replay and probably shake his head, but ultimately this is a huge result and a huge win for that fighter here tonight. All right, we'll take a look back at the highlights. You know we're going to find that nasty head kick somewhere in this highlight, Rick. Just an incredible result for him here tonight. A very nice head kick to finish the fight. But don't ignore all the work he did with his hands and give credit to the opponent. The opponent was in there every step of the way. And in order to get a fight of the night like you got tonight, both guys have to be willing to participate. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Ian LeBing has called a stop to this contest at 3 minutes, 47 seconds of round number 4. Declaring the winner by knockout, And there is the man of the moment, and what a moment this must be like for a professional athlete, right? I know you enjoyed the birth of your kids, right? But yeah. you knock out a man in a cage fight. I can't think of anything better. I mean, there's nothing like it. You know, you don't even hear the one that lands that puts out your opponent's lights. And tonight, he got that done. And he should be very proud of the work he and his coaches got done tonight.